Common question or concern I have around facelifts is the scarring. You can minimize those scars where they're to the point of imperceptibility, meaning you know, casual observer should not be able to detect that you've had a facelift at all. How do we do that? Number one, do a great facelift to begin with. Facelift scars, the primary determinant of how they heal is the tension on the skin. When I do facelifts, I typically do more advanced techniques like deep plane face and neck lifting. In those techniques, the tension on the skin is minimal because we're really tightening the underlying structures which lifts the jowls more, lifts the underlying sagging musculature, repositions the fat pads. The skin that comes out is really secondary to lifting of the deeper structures. And so with very little tension, those scars heal as imperceptible lines. The second thing is when we do a facelift, we want to make sure that we pay attention to the very important landmarks. So for example, one of the telltale signs of a bad facelift is blunting of this tragus. So I do a lot of little tricks to kind of inset the skin around the tragus to make sure the tragus looks as natural as it possibly can. The second thing is pixie ear. If you're looking at facelift results and you see an earlobe that's been pulled down or stretched out, that's usually due to tension around the earlobe. So that can be easily avoided by insetting or pulling the earlobe up at the end of a facelift in order to create the most natural contour around the earlobe and the best facelift scars we possibly can create. 